reasons why we should not, and I do mean, should not pay Dak Prescott all of that money. More curious, go to Mutter Sports. As always, guys and gals, letting that butter spread. Plenty to churn this afternoon. Very controversial episodes, video, whatever, whatever you want to label it as. We're going to get straight to churning. Reason number one, I'm going to look to my notes to my right, your left. I'm just saying I want to stay warm. Reason number one, uh, evidently we don't have any money. Evidently we're broke. So our home run hitting free agent pickup only signed with us because he decided to renege on the 49ers. Not because it's such a lustrous program that he couldn't handle himself. He had to come sign with the Dallas Cowboys. No! He wanted to come here because of Zimmer. Not because of Jones. Not because of McChicken McCarthy. McCarthy didn't want you on the pond. Don't get mad at me now. No! He changed his mind. And that's the reason why he signed with the Cowboys. We weren't his home run hitting team that he chose. So yeah, outside of that, Rico Dowell and some other guy, I don't even know his name, I don't even know what position he what? plays for, sadly, unfortunately. We do churn butter, just not in regards to that person. Yeah, we've done nothing in the free agency. So evidently, we could use the money. And instead of paying, again, Rain Dakota Prescott, 50-ish million dollars per year, why not spread and churn and spread that butter all around the organization? We gotta have an astronomical steroid infused contract for Micah today's day and age LT Parsons and also the same thing for number 88, CD Lamb. Yeah, and we got some glaring holes here. Uh, case in point, we don't have a starting left tackle, we don't have a starting center, we don't have a starting running back, we don't have a starting defensive tackle, we don't have a starting other side of uh the quarterback, what? you know what I'm trying to say. Yeah, we got holes. The rap is falling down to the bottom of the sea, and it's not coming back to the top like Cheerios. We need some help, evidently. That's what we did diddly diddly in the free agency. Reason number one. Now, reason number two. This hurts. This hurts me. I'm 40, y'all, so I remember the glory years, you know. The back-to-back-to-back -to -back -to -back boys. And, you know, we were terrible for a couple years, and then left somebody and then we got some picks and then we became the America's team. They couldn't stop us. But those years are long gone now, unfortunately. Said I'll have to say this. Yeah, we've only made it to the second round. My goodness. When was the last time we went to the NFC Championship? Yeah, I'll wait. Uh, don't hold your breath. You'll pass out. It's been that long. Again, we've only made it to the second round, the furthest we've gone. And every single time, it seems like the past couple of years, is multiple interceptions. A Ray Dakota Prescott, same to that Dak that I've done a video on, applauded him, said that I would vote for him if he ran for presidency. Yet still, to be the quarterback of my, of your Dallas Cowboys, you got to be consistent and get us past the second round. Since he's taken accountability since 2016, it's been my fault. It's my fault. Yeah, with the accolades comes the criticism and now consequences. Goodness gracious. Let's do something about it being his fault. Which brings me to my last point. And again, I love Dak. I love Rain Dakota Prescott. I love Ezekiel, Ezekiel Elliott. I hate it to lose Zeke. We probably could use him right now, frankly. We need a running back that has bricks in his backside. I got big bricks in the case. Not lie. Yeah, um, enough is enough. We found reasons, evidently, for getting rid of Ezekiel Elliott. Wouldn't those same reasons be valid for Ray Dakota Prescott? He's been here since 2016. And the culture that has brewed or been around the organization since 2016 is we only do enough and then that's it. We choke, unfortunately. We trip over our own feet but our shoelaces are inside of our shoes. In other words, we have no reason. What are you talking about, Mark Curious? So year after year after year, we're one of the better teams on paper, but year after year after year, we're utter mediocrity in the playoffs. But we lose games during the season that we should not lose if those games come back to chastise us in the playoffs with the CD. Enough is enough. It's time to change the culture. Now, I know when I mean change culture, I should be going all the way to the top. That's a whole nother Potter video. Free Will McClay. I'm saying Free Will McClay is screaming. It's a whole nother video. Jerry Jones needs to step to the side. Jones organization, family, corporation, empire. 
need to step to the side and give the reins to Will McClay, who's been the unofficial GM since forever. That's, a, again, a whole other episode. We're dealing with that. Last point, again, it's been long enough. Year eight, change the culture. Here we go. Flip Dak for a first and two seconds, for a first, a second, and a third, and a viable solution free agent to compete with, I don't know, Trey Lance, who could be the next coming of Dak Prescott. And then you could draft somebody to compete with Trey Lance, and then you could recoup all of that money and actually build an organization that could be competitive beyond the first round. I'm just saying. You can come back, what? come at me, comment, uh, like, share, subscribe, tell your mom, tell your pa. If you disagree with what I'm saying, I'm just giving objective facts here with a sprinkle of subjectivity. But again, all of this is based upon the product that's on the field. Again, the reason number one, the three reasons why Dak shouldn't get that money, yeah. Uh, evidently, we haven't done anything in the free agency because we're broke. Reason number two, because, yeah, we haven't went beyond the second round. We want to get back to the glory hole, as Jerry Jones says. And reason number three, enough is enough. Mark Curious, go to Butter Sports. Y'all know what we do. Like, share, comment, subscribe, and let that butter spread. Let's get it, y'all.